Welcome to Odd Autos. This is Custom or Classic. Welcome back everybody to another Custom or Classic where we are continuing with our Mark II Escort. Okay, what we've we been doing in the last week, we have found an engine the whole reason I'm doing a two litre Juratec, to be honest, is my brother had a Ford Galaxy with a two litre Juratec in. Does about nine miles to the gallon. I mean, it's like a tiny petrol engine in a two and a half ton car. The engine itself is mint. The rest of the car is absolutely hanging. It's full of dents. It's got different colored panels on it and it was on its last legs plus he was always moaning about the fuel consumption. So I've given him one of my cars. He's got a nice now uh, 56 plate Fiat Panda 4x4, which he is enjoying. And we got the engine out of the Galaxy. Get the table over, get all the legs out, and Keith and Simon, big strong boys, lift it straight onto the ramp, ready to start fitting our roll cage. So already I had bought a cage for this ages ago when I was gonna go absolutely bonkers on it. Uh, and it's a WRC type, massive mess of pipes and it would have just been an awful cage to use as a daily. So we're going to go for a simple rear cage, weld in, if anybody wants to extend it in the future they can, but it's going to be a nice cage to get in and out, use as a daily, but it's still there for a bit of safety. So without further ado, let's crack on with the rest of the car. Right, let's stop messing about and crack on with this project. So we've got it on the spit now so we can roll it on its side and finish off all the welding underneath. The underside is covered in red oxide, so all that needs wire brushing off too. Then it's down to the body shop for Keith to start his magic. So luckily, out of all the cars I bought in from South Africa, this one looked the worst, but it just basically had a real rough paint job. The underside, and the bodywork is pretty straight to be honest. I mean, most of the front's new and the door skins are new, so only a little bit of filler needed for the back quarters, and then jobs are good done. Then we get it into the booth and apply some etch. So this is yellow this time, so we can actually see where the etch is. And it's just basically a light coat all over, so any paint we put on top is gonna stick. After that, it's the high build, which is going on all the outside of the body. We don't need to put it on underneath because that's going to be stone chipped. So we get it back out and put sealer on every seam of this body. We don't want water getting in anywhere. So it's a big job, takes a while, but it's well worth doing. It just future proofs it and it's a way of holding back that rust. Then Keith rubs down the high build off the engine bay and seals that too. It's then back in the booth for the stone guard, underneath and on the arches. So we put this on because any stones that bounce up onto it, it's rubberized, it just bounces them back off instead of chipping the paint. Just got that little bit of flex in it. Next up, we're wet on wet primer in, so we can basically put the primer on and then just put the paint over the top. So the colour that is going over the top, this gives you an idea because we mix a little bit into the wet on wet just so the top coat covers better. Ooh, have a look at that. Makes you want to leave the whole car pink, doesn't it? And then is the color. So what color are we going to do this? 
being custom or classic, I wanted two cars identical, but one standard and one custom. So I was thinking, why not paint them both the same color? And then you can see the differences in it and then people can decide which one they like better. So yeah, we're going for Venetian red again, which is the same as the 1600 Sport. So Keith puts that all over the car, all over the underside and in the arches, does a mint job all over the inside and around that roll cage, which is a right pane and all over the engine bay. And that is the end of part one of our painting. And that's it, the car is back in here, so let's crack on. So now we've got the car back into the workshop, it's time to get it up on the ramp and take it off our spit. That's it, it's getting put away, the spit is, for the final time. So high build primer is not waterproof. If water gets in there, it soaks it up like a sponge and it'll expand, basically wreck our paint. So Keith is going around the car where the arches fit, spraying it red to seal that high build in. Also, the arches we've got, we've stone chipped on the inside and already painted them red. So he sticks the arches on both fronts and then gets that lower chin spoiler on. Ooh, look at that pink. Lovely and primered, ready for the red paint going over the top. So me and Simon round the back, we're fitting the uprated decambered leaf springs We've got an English axle going on with a 3J fast road limited slip diff. Also, we've got all the anti-tramp bars and all that lot just to strengthen up our rear end. So the engine is pretty much a direct fit. You can buy all the kit to fit this 2-litre Juratec now. We've got a Motorsport World Cup cross member with the ready to fit engine mounts. It goes straight up in there with its Type 9 box attached and everything fits perfectly as it should. So wheels back on, it's back down the body shop for its final time. So Keith gets straight back on, rubbing the high build primer off the outside. Now he's got to put the doors on to make sure all the swage lines match up. So this is where he gets his tape out, puts it along the swage lines, make sure they're super crisp and straight. And then we're basically back in the booth for the final coat of red. And here we are. We're nearly ready for the most important bit of the whole, whole build. This is where, I mean, Keith's been in the trade, what, 80 years now, and he still gets nervous before painting a car. Every car we've done so far. Yeah, Charlie Drake's. <laughs> but uh, we go and have a little cuddle and a chat before he sprays it, calms him down a bit. And right, let's transform this car into one shiny red modified escort. Let's go. Let's do it right.
So we jumped back onto this Mark II, the beginning of September. Have a look at that. It was in a right mess. My own fault, been sat for so long. It's now the 25th of October, and this is what it looks like now. Just have a look at that. Doesn't it look mint? Special thanks to Ainsley Advanced Paints again, supplying us with the Capsi paint. It's like top quality paint, but for half the price. You just can't moan at that finish. It's real good, so cheers for that. Um, and that's all we got time for for this video. Bit of a weird one, a lot of time lapse and talking because we're that trying to get it done and going flat out at it. We missed a lot of the filming, which is unfair to you lot really. So I'm going to sort of step back and try and think of how I can keep the speed up, but show you more detail because I bet you want to see, you know, all the ins and outs of what we've done. I mean, you missed like a week of mock-up where we had, you know, all the engine exhaust on before we painted it. Um, but yeah, we've been that busy. So stick with us. There won't be a video for a little while, so don't unsubscribe. And um, yeah, we'll try and come back with a lot more detail. So that's it for this video. See you again. Ta-da.